What's going on, guys? It's Trip Young, Real Fans, Real Talk. Coming to you guys today with a midweek vlog. Uh, as most of you know or should already know because it's been everywhere right now, uh, we lost Kobe Bryant, uh, NBA legend, Laker legend, future Hall of Famer, five-time NBA champion. Uh, tragically, in a helicopter crash a couple of days ago, him and his uh, his daughter Gigi, and of course there were seven other passengers in the helicopter that lost their lives as well. So before I even get too deep into the vlog, I just want to send my condolences to every family that was affected by the lives lost in that helicopter crash. And I, you know, of course, I want to send my condolences out to all of the players uh, that had a personal relationship with Kobe and just and the fans in general. Uh, Kobe was one of the most loved players in the history of the NBA. Um, and of course, you know, he was one of the top players to ever play the game of, of basketball. Um, so, you know, we definitely lost a legend. I, I even threw on the yellow. I know, I, you know, I'm not the, the biggest Kobe fan. Or I wasn't the biggest Kobe fan, but I always gave Kobe his respect as one of the all-time greats, you know. And uh, he's definitely somebody that should be recognized, should be honored for his level of play, his, uh, his work ethic, that whole Mamba mentality. You know, he was definitely one of the most clutch players to ever play the game. Um, you know, and I mean, who did it better than Kobe, man? Uh, all defensive team, 12 times, all NBA teams, all-star games, MVPs, finals MVPs. Again, five rings, two of those, you know, he was the finals MVP for. And just the, the level of competitiveness that's probably unmatched, you know, period, in sports, you know. Um, the man did it all, and he, 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 did, he, did, it, he did it very well, you know, and even after... Uh, leaving the sport of basketball, he was able to transition uh, that into, you know, his work outside of the game as far as in uh, production with uh, film and as well his uh, the work that, you know, he was doing as far as coaching and just and, and being a family man. You know, we, we don't put enough, uh, you know, on that, just, just being a family and, and being a father and being a good father, you know, um, Raising his daughters the right way, you know, coaching his daughter's basketball team, you know, so you definitely like you, you got to pay homage to Kobe, you know, wherever you have him ranked on the all time list, he's up there. You know, you, you can't you're not going to find too many players that will be ranked ahead of Kobe on the all time list, you know, um, again, tragic, tragic uh, loss, uh, you know, Kobe being Bryant, man. Uh, condolence to all of his uh, his fans again. Um, it's crazy because you know actually I gained a lot more respect uh, and admiration for Kobe after his basketball career. Because again, you know, you guys know I wasn't a Lakers fan. You know, I'm a, I'm a LeBron guy, and before that I was an MJ guy. You know, but after uh, basketball, I mean, the man won an Oscar. <laughs> like you can't beat that, especially for someone who's actually in. Uh, film and television, you know, that's one of the goals that I aspire to. And, you know, Kobe Kobe was able to accomplish that not too long after his retirement from the game of basketball. And I think that's actually the thing that I, I admired the most about Kobe was that not only was he able to play an entire career of basketball, being one of the top guys in basketball up until his uh, his last uh, game, that 60-point performance uh, against the, the Utah Jazz a couple of seasons ago. You know, but him, him transitioning out of basketball, which we know is hard. A lot of players... They don't transition well once you retire from sports just because there's, you know, there's, there's just a huge gap in, you know, pay and just, you know, and all of that stuff as far as, you know, from when you're playing to, you know, being retired from the sport. A lot of guys don't transition well. Kobe was one of the guys that was able to, to do it and do it on a, on a level that, you know, most may never see. But uh, but him winning that, that Academy Award, you know, I just, I gained a, a whole new level of respect for Kobe because, you know, we... And when I say we, I know you know you know the brothers and the sisters 
We ain't getting them, them awards like that. We don't always get our just due. So the fact that Kobe was able to transition out of basketball and, uh, you know, put a project out, start something, complete it, and be nominated for an Academy Award, which in itself is an amazing, amazing accomplishment. But then to, to come after and actually win the Academy Award, man, you got to tip your hat to Kobe. You know, you got to give him respect. You know, on and off the court, Kobe has done it better than most, you know, and he continued to do it up until, you know, his last days, you know, he was that guy, he, you know, you got to, again, you just, you just got to respect it, man. It's Kobe Bryant, the legend again. So again, you know, I say to, to the family and friends, I send my condolences, uh, rest in peace, Kobe, you definitely will be missed. One of the greatest to ever do it. All right, y'all. Make sure y'all tune in every Thursday, Real Fans, Real Talk. We're going to get into it a lot this Thursday. We're going to have a whole uh, Kobe show. Everything is going to be dedicated to Kobe. We're going to be talking about his highlights on the court, uh, off the court, just everything Kobe is going down. We're going to show some of his best plays, you know, the Oscars uh, speech. We're going to we're gonna get into that. Uh, you know, shout out to the, to the, to the Grammys. Uh, they had a nice little tribute. To, uh, to Kobe at the start of the Grammys the other night. So big shout out to them for that. Um, I know over at Madison Square Garden before the Knicks-Nets game, you know, they paid homage to Kobe. They had the, the garden lit up with the Lakers purple and yellow, you know, in honor of uh, of Kobe Bryant. Just all throughout the league, the 24-second violations, you know, the eight-second violations, just all in, in, in honor of Kobe and those two jersey numbers. Shout out to Mark Cuban. Uh, you know, who said he, he was going to uh, retire uh, Kobe's uh, 24. Uh, no Maverick will ever wear that number. That, that speaks its volumes, you know, in itself. You know, so shout out to him. Um, I know there's a poll going around right now. They want to change the uh, the logo from, from Jerry West uh, to Kobe. You know, I don't know if that's going to be able to get done, but the last time I checked, uh, close to 600,000 people had uh, had signed the, uh, <laughs> the the petition. So we'll see how that one goes. Uh, you know, we'll talk more about that tomorrow uh, night when we get on the air. But again, make sure you guys are tuned in each and every Thursday night uh, on Verizon 43 BPN 2, 8 to 9 p.m. all throughout New York City. Real fans, real talk. I'm Trip Young. I'm up out of here. Rest in peace, Cole. Mamba mentality. This is Deontay the Bronze Bummer Wilder, heavyweight champion of the world, and you're watching Real Fans Real Talk. Real talk, we as real as you thought. Real 